Hey everyone, it's me, Megs, and yes, I am back with a personality unit, and this one is a bit different. This one is indeed glueless, and boy, have wigs transformed and improved over the years, okay? And this one is by Hair VV. This is my second time actually trying Hair VV wigs, so I'm always really satisfied and impressed with the packaging here. It comes with a lot of different information pieces for you to read and go through especially if it's your first time as a wig wearer i love the packaging it's just the extra details that just make you feel so special when it comes to your hair and your units so this is the ombre unit that i have it's a really pretty ombre brown and i was really pleased with how neat it was packaged with care. And the name of this unit is the Chase Brown Ombre Unit made with human hair. And this is 20 inches with a pre-plugged hairline. And I'm always really impressed with Hair VV wigs with the lace. The lace quality is so good. And I love that it has this really pretty warm brown color, which will make it great for summertime. Or if you're trying to like introduce yourself into color slowly, brown is always a great way to go to experience with color so I'm really satisfied with how this looks and the texture of this hair I noticed has a more silky really silky texture like really silky <laughs> and that's exactly how I can describe it very very silky straight out the box so I was saying that this construction of this wig is a bit different from all the other wigs that I've ever had is that it has this material here and it feels a little bit like um it has like like a nice soft silky texture <laughs> yes this wig is very silky with the pre-plugged hair line and all that and I really like this because it's glueless and I like that it has this material right here which makes it really nice and gentle on my braids for my base when I do put my um, unit on so and also it allows for a really nice natural look to the parting area so it is glueless and it does have a really nice adjustable strap in the back along with additional adjustable straps for you to remove and place your strap to the tightness that you would like it. And it also has a comb at the nape area. And so this wig construction was very lightweight. As you can see, my nails are kind of like going through and you can, can kind of like see through it, which means like this is ventilated. Like I'm gonna be able to breathe in this unit during the summer months. So what I really did also appreciate with the lace, the knots are really small and it does appear to be pre-bleached and pre-plucked. And yes, I love that about units when you don't have to do all the heavy lifting. They did all the work for me and I really appreciate that. And I do really appreciate how small the knots are in the pre-plucked and pre-bleached hairline. It's not over bleached. It has a really nice natural scalp look that will go really well with my skin tone. So I do appreciate that about Hair BB wigs being that this is my second one and I really loved my first unit by them. So it does come with additional information, which is just like the extra touches it just makes it feel so much like luxury you know so I really love this um kind of like information kit that it does come with and it also comes with a satin like bag to store my wig in because I've been using those so I am going to use a kind of like a more thicker wig cap just to protect my hair underneath because I am on a hair journey and I want to ensure that my hair stays nice and neat underneath my wigs so I am going to put a bit of foundation onto this wig cap because it is on the lighter side and I don't want it to show through even though I know it isn't and on the very front of the hairline which is totally optional I'm gonna place a little more foundation onto that front area just to make sure it blends effortlessly which I'm not really too concerned about <laughs> so I'm just gonna adjust the strap and slide this bad boy on and let me tell you it is super snug that is always kind of like a fear of mine when it comes to glueless units that it won't fit correctly and boy this fit perfectly around my forehead and my nape area felt comfortable so I was like hallelujah this one fits pretty well and I love that it's hugging close to my skin making me you know feel confident that I can go glueless with this one so I will say the hair is very silky very soft straight out the box this is my first time actually wearing a wig straight out the box and I wanted to see how it would perform for me so I will say with this unit because I have a smaller head um the hairline does come a little bit over my Ears, and I'm going to show you how I cut around my ears to make sure it fits nice and neatly and I'm just really impressed with the hairline like it's just beautiful it already looks great right now okay and the lace is nice and thin and it's blending really well with my skin tone because I am on the darker complexion side and you know sometimes 
Lace flashback is a thing and I wasn't concerned about that with this because the lace was so thin. So I'm just gonna kind of take a piece of hair out um, just to find that area where I want to cut around my ear and make sure I'm not cutting any of the other hair that I wanna keep. <laughs> so I'm just taking my time and being very careful with cutting around the ears just to make sure that the wig fits around my ears nice and comfortably. And it does and it's blending, okay? No glue needed and that is what I love so much about this wig here is because I don't have to worry about the fuss of glue and worrying about the fuss of you know manipulating into my own hairline with all that extra glue and things and it ripping my hairline out because we do not want that so glueless wigs is the way to go so I'm just going to go ahead and brush through this and I'm just kind of checking for any shedding um any tangling or anything and I didn't experience that at all so I am going to flat iron this unit I'm using some Cura Cura um silk and seal heat protectant on this unit I use that on all of my units and I'm going to section this hair off and see See how this flat irons so I'm just gonna take kind of like some small sections here and I'm gonna use my KQC flat iron y'all this flat iron is so old it's probably like 13 years old and it's still kicking so I'm just gonna do the chase method with this hair and I made sure I didn't spray too much of the heat protectant spray because I didn't want to weigh the hair down because the texture of this hair is very silky so I didn't want to apply a lot of product to this hair but when it comes to the frontal of this wig, the front area rather, the parting space is everything. You can part this any which way and I cannot wait to experiment more throughout the summer with different styles with this uh, unit with parting and everything because it gives realistic scalp look, okay? And the knots are nice and small. It's just no fuss. And I just really, really love the quality of this unit. So I am going to apply a little bit of hairspray to the top area. And I'm going to hot comb the top just so I can get it as flat as possible. I really think I should have braided my hair a little differently for this wig. But it's okay. <laughs> it still came out beautifully. And so I'm just going to make sure I get this a little more flat. So I'm parting it um, within the front area. And then I'm going to hot comb it just to get it. A little more flat and it really did what it was supposed to do and I do like that and so what I also did notice with this unit I didn't notice any filler hair or any flyaway hair it really performed really well with styling I didn't have any issues with it not getting straight or or it being bulky anywhere especially around the frontal area as you can see, it's laying pretty flat when I do hot comb it. So this is optional. You do not have to do this because it wasn't really necessary. But I like to do this to my wigs just to get an extra, you know, sharper line, a crispier line, especially when I'm filming and taking pictures because I took some pictures after this and I wanted my parting to be a little more crispier. <laughs> um, and I am going to apply a little bit of this Paul Mitchell hairspray. The name of all the products that I use will be down in the description. And I'm just going to brush that in just to make sure everything stays in place. And boy, it's turning out the way I wanted it to. Super easy, very realistic looking. It looks expensive to, like this is a good quality wig and that's what I want. I want my wigs to look like, what, who did that? Like, where are we going? <laughs> and I'm very impressed with the lace. It's super thin, there's no flashback. And imagine if I did decide to glue this down, it would be melted heaven, okay? So I could imagine if I did decide to glue this unit down, it would be giving wet lace because the lace is so thin, that melt would be effortless and easy to do. So I'm very satisfied with Hair BV wigs. This is my second time trying one of their wigs and I'm very satisfied again. So I'm really also loving the ombre. I think it looks great for my skin tone. Um, and also the hair appeared to be a little layered, like a very light layer with this 20 inches so I am 411 so 20 inches is just enough for me um, and I like it it's really nice and lightweight it's very airy as well I don't feel hot in this unit especially around the nape area it's very very comfortable and that's what I like the most and the texture of this hair is very very silky and I think I would prefer something with a bit more texture but overall I really love this unit it's beautiful and very comfortable all information about this unit will be down in the description below and once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.